Never Split the Difference has sold over 2 million copies to date and presents the reader with a set of transferable skills based on the lived experience of former lead international hostage negotiator Chris Voss. The book provides contextualized examples of how you can use tried and tested FBI tactics to build better relationships, put conscious bias to one side and negotiate as if your life depended on it. Through my lens as a mental health and wellbeing facilitator, there were several trains of thought that stood out, including advanced tactics on how to build rapport, diffuse negativity and have better person-centered conversations, all of which I'm going to break down in this video. Negotiation is based on two vital life functions, those being information gathering and behavioral influence. Central to this is the role that emotions and emotional intelligence plays in effective negotiations. The book postulates that there are two pathways by which we go about making decisions. The first is rationale based and takes information at face value. The second attaches emotion and conscious bias to that information so that the person can make a decision that best serves their wants and needs. Attempting to negotiate without first being able to demonstrate that you have an understanding of what the other person's going through and how they feel about it is the equivalent of attempting to make an omelette without first knowing how to crack an egg. By using calibrated questions to shift the emotion and environment, gain trust and elicit vocalization of the other person's needs, Never Split the Difference presents the idea that listening is tactical empathy as a martial art. That is the ability to think from another person's point of view in the moment and assess what's driving them. You may have heard the saying that birds of a feather flock together. This is based on the biological principle that we naturally fear what's different and are drawn to what's familiar. Mirroring, also known as isopraxism, is a technique that leverages behavior that insinuates similarity between two people, using subtle verbal and non-verbal language to signal trust and build rapport. Key to this is neural resonance, which at a high level is your ability to tune in to the other party, making your soul and encompassing focus the other person and what they have to say. To do this, being aware of how we say things is integral to the process of how we validate the emotions of another. To really ensure the other person feels heard, think about how we use the full spectrum of communications. This includes tone of voice, inflection, the speed at which we talk, body language, and the use of the most critical one to three words from your counterpart's sentence when summarizing to check understanding. Empathy Empathy is the ability to recognize and vocalize the perspectives of another and making a commitment to understanding their world. Chris describes labeling as a shortcut to intimacy. Identifying feelings, turning them into words and repeating them back to the other person is one way of demonstrating that you identify with how they're feeling without asking about external factors you know nothing about. In addition, applying rational words to fear disrupts raw intensity and diffuses negativity. It's because the faster we can interrupt the amygdala, the part of the brain that generates fear in response to real or perceived threats, the quicker we can generate feelings of safety, trust, and well-being. Black swans are pieces of information or events that sit outside of our regular expectations and therefore cannot be predicted. They are the unknown unknowns. This chapter highlights the drawbacks of conscious bias and how easy it is to be blinded in a new situation by previous experience. To this end, knowing the values, worldview or religion of the person you're talking to is a precondition that will enable you to present helpful options. Each chapter is interwoven and backed up with contextualized examples based on over three decades of the author's international hostage negotiation and consultancy experience including examples of where the techniques discussed were first learned alongside where they've been applied in his or his students' lives outside of the FBI. This could be anything from bargaining hard with the sales rep in the car dealership to using subtle conversation skills to get the last seat on a plane. Never Split the Difference is as surreal as it is helpful, due in large part to my initial perception that the background of the author and the wide range of real life scenarios to which his experience applies seem so far apart. But in all honesty, whether you're negotiating with your other half on what color shoes you should wear to dinner, trying to get the best possible price for a house you're about to sell, or having a supportive, person-centered conversation with a colleague or friend, Never Split the Difference is a must read for anybody that wants to get better at establishing rapport, building trust, and de-escalating conflict. Follow the link in the description to check out this book in more detail, and feel free to click or tap the screen just here for more well-being book reviews.